Hi everyone, Jean Lurson here. Well this week I want to share with you some new purchases I made and um, amongst them are three granulating watercolors. Now if you've been following my channel you know that I love granulating colors so I'm going to go over those with you. Um, I also bought some watercolor ink. Now I use usually use uh, acrylic ink because I like the textures that it that it uh, creates when you mix it with watercolors. Um, but I thought I would I have never bought watercolor ink, so I thought I'd give that a try. Another thing that I'm excited about are these silicon paint pucks. They're called paint pucks. They come in a set of three and they are for cleaning your brushes. You put it in your water jar, it's got a little suction cup, sticks to the bottom of the cup. I know that sometimes when I clean my brushes, and, and especially if I use fairly thick paint, sometimes a little bit of paint sticks in the hairs and then I go to use another color and I ruin that color. You just swirl your paint br brush carefully through it and it will take off any paint that remains in your brush. I really have found that very useful. I will have a link below the video to all these uh, products. Let's start with the paints. Now Sodalite Gen Genuine is my one of my new discoveries and it's a a little bit like Payne's Grey but it granulates beautifully. I'm not even putting granulation medium in there and look look how that's granulated. It just starts granulating and of course the more water that you add the more it granulates and the little black specks start breaking out and so you could actually when you play around with it you could come up with some interesting textures. I'm very interested to see how, it, how it'll work in a dramatic sky. Um, the one color that I'm actually extremely excited about is this Hematite Violet Genuine by Daniel Smith. It's a Primatech color. If you have a look at it in the palette it's actually pretty dark but when you add water, pick up some paint, you can get the most interesting textures and it, you see it'll just automatically um, start granulating. I'm just going to sort of do a thickish um, tree trunk and you can see how the color breaks up and there's sort of pinky color there and then there's some lots of granulation. I know that I could do very interesting tree trunks with this just by itself or um, I'm going to add some of the raw umber violet which is another granulating color that I bought and I'm just going to drop that in with some water uh, in various places to the colors here and you could you can experiment with this I did this experiment using the hematite violet and I added some um, orange to that. You can add different colors and experiment and see what you can come up with. I love that. You could actually use more pigment, less water uh, and get some some more texture I just had a lot of fun experimenting with it. So there's lots of different options with this paint. You could also use it to paint a hillside. I'm sure we could get some really lovely um, textures from the granulation. I'm going to take some of the um, Sodalite Genuine so you get two really nice granulating paints. 
that have all sorts of possibilities. The raw umber violet is another granulating color and these by the way I term earth colors. Now I love earth colors. I actually prefer neutral colors to um, uh, painting very bright colors. Although I, I did recently do a very bright colored painting which I'll show you shortly. Now this is another granulating color and has a lot of possibilities in landscapes. I really like this too. I'm quite excited about all three of these colors and I'm uh, let's just add a little bit of blue in here and see how they blend together. That's the Sodalite Genuine. Experimenting is, is how you're going to find out what your colors can do for you. And now, a little, just a little bit about the watercolor ink. I thought I would try this because normally I use acrylic inks with my watercolors because you get that beautiful granulation um, from the acrylic inks when it meets the watercolor and, um, and it separates out. So I wanted to see what would happen if I used watercolor ink. Just going to put down some color quickly and I want to um, keep it wet and look at that, see? Now this has lots of possibilities. It, it doesn't granulate, but when it hits the water, it disperses out. So let's see what happens if I spritz it a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Now that has lots of possibilities in the landscape. We could have some really interesting textures. I like that a lot. That's something I, ha I need to experiment with more, but I'm liking what I see so far. Now I want to do a little plug for World Watercolor Month, which is in July every year, run by Charlie O'Shields of Doodle Wash. This year there are 14 watercolor artists who gave permission to use their paintings to be printed on pouches that uh, will be for sale on his Doodle Wash site and 100% of the proceeds goes to the International Child Art Foundation, uh, a very worthy cause. I will have a link to the site below the video. Please take a look at all the different artists who've allowed their paintings to be used for the pouches. This painting was my contribution and I have taken part in this in previous years and I've realized that what uh, really works for the pouches is to have something uh, in, in bright colors so I decided to really go all out with a really abstract landscape using some colors that don't normally appear in the landscape and I had a lot of fun doing this and I really uh, like this painting which I've now put up on my website for sale. I hope that you will take a look at his site and see the different things that are for sale because as I said a hundred percent of the profits goes to this International Child Art Foundation. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.